Shortly after I recorded a previous video regarding an ecliptic brewing beer, I learned that they had were uh, ceasing operations. They declared bankruptcy or something similar to that. They'd run out of funds. And uh, then shortly thereafter, I learned that they'd been bought and they'd be continuing under different ownership. Um, so maybe I'm too late or maybe I'm early. Maybe it's just in the, the end of one thing and the beginning of another thing. Change in the industry is certainly a, a common thing these days, particularly as the economy is doing its wibbly wobbly, shaky wakey thing. Um, but regardless, while I still have this can, I will be drinking Ecliptic Brewing's Starburst IPA. I'm about to put some space in my face. Hey, welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. I'm Matthew. Today I'll be drinking Starburst IPA by Ecliptic Brewing out of Portland, Oregon on Earth. Glad they cleared it up. I'm pretty sure there was a Portland Mars at one point. Um, this is an IPA. I don't know too much about it, except that it is an IPA. Uh, oh, there it says, a juicy tropical IPA with a galaxy's worth of Amarillo, Azaka, Centennial, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. So they, they're going tropical, but they're using a lot of um, Northwest hops, Simcoe's, uh, well, some. There's a combination in there. It's a whole mix. It's a whole galaxy's worth of hops. I suppose that's what they're going for. Aroma-wise, yeah, recording under a tree. Sometimes the tree decides to drop things on the table. So be it. Aroma-wise, there's a an indistinct. I mean, it's it's definitely tropical, but I'm having a hard time picking out necessarily a particular fruit or tropical element that it reminds me of. With the the broadness of the hops being involved here, um, it's not that they're in conflict. I think. They might just simply amalgamate into one less distinct whole, perhaps. Which, if you want just a generically hoppy beer, brilliant. And frankly, if that's what you're going for, it's done very well. Um, I'm not picking out any particular beer as being, or sorry, any particular hop as being the dominant here. It smells good, and I mean, it's definitely a very hoppy aroma, which speaks to the flavor hopefully being quite hoppy too. There might be a little bit of a brininess to it, almost, which is kind of interesting. Like there's some salt-like uh, character aroma to it. There's definitely some vegetable to that as well. Like cucumbers. Um, yeah, cucumbers, I think. Maybe some real mild fruitiness. Ah, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so yes, hops. This beer is about the hops. Great. Um, first, there's kind of a, um, a a juicy, kind of a creamy, juicy, almost like a um, <clears throat> maybe a pineapple coconut juice beginning. You know, it's not pineapple sharp acidic fruitiness. Just it also has the smoothing um, coconut juice to it as well. And then that, then really quickly after that, this. This pretty strong spike, a very verdant hop, uh, pine tree, uh, juniper comes in, and that that feels like it's going to take over, but it stops just shy. And then, kind of the the creamy finish 
finishes or the the creamy uh, juiciness kind of kind of fades out, and you're left with a nice mild, uh, well mild, but the the green, the verdant hops, the pine tree, the juniper hops are kind of left um, finishing that out. That's pretty nice. Even the even the the, the feel, the mouth feel is kind of creamy. Not not thick, not not like a uh, heavy oat body beer, or a lactose beer, um, but simply there's a creaminess to it, and and that's quite nice. I like that. So you have this nice kind of pineapple coconut juice kind of middle start and middle, and then this uh, accompaniment of a real consistent, real clean, really nice verdant pine juniper kind of uh, hop finish. That's really really quite nice. I enjoy that quite a bit. That's a good beer. <clears throat> I would imagine that as it warms, you'd probably pick up some more distinct sweet fruit notes, uh, tropical sweetness. Um, just right now, not so much. Um, it's still pretty fresh out of the fridge. <laughs> it's a good beer. I enjoy that. A little bit simple, but that's perfectly fine, especially on a nice warm day. Simple's good. Simple's good. And uh, so I will have to drink the rest of this simple beer. Anyways, this is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and enjoying Starburst IPA by Ecliptic Brewing for the first time. Not Ecliptic, the, this particular Starburst. And I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>